gentlelady from Connecticut is recognized for three minutes. I rise to protest this rule and the deep cuts and disastrous cuts of food stamps. These $40 billion in cuts go against decades of bipartisan support for the fight against hunger in the United States. They will hurt our economy, and they are, in a word, immoral. If this cruel legislation were to become law, at least four million of the nation's poorest citizens would lose access to the food that they need. We are talking about people on the edge, families whose breadwinners just got laid off, veterans returning from service who are looking for jobs, 170,000 of them, seniors struggling to make ends meet after a lifetime of work and who will be forced to make the choice between food and medicine, and millions of low-income children whose futures will be irreparably harmed by these reckless cuts. Don't take my word for it. Working with the census data, the Center for Budget and Policy Priorities projects that roughly 170,000 veterans could lose access to food stamps under the provisions of this bill. AARP called these efforts to cut anti-hunger programs, and I quote, abandonment of the nation's commitment to ensuring essential nutrition access for U.S. households. Two former Senate Majority Leaders, Republican and Democrat, Bob Dole, Tom Daschle, have called this bill, again, and I quote, an about face and our progress fighting hunger. Senator Dole is right. The majority's leadership has lost its way on this issue. For decades, there has been bipartisan support for food stamps, our nation's most important anti-hunger program. They help over 47 million Americans. Nearly half of them are our children to escape the scourge of hunger. Nearly all food stamp recipients live below 130 percent of the poverty line. 75 percent of food stamp households include a child, a senior citizen, or a disabled person. And they boast one of the lowest error rates of any government program. Economists agree that food stamps have a powerful positive impact on the economy, not just families, but the entire economy. They get money into the hands of people who spend it on the food that they need. So cutting anti-hunger funding like this is not just immoral, it makes no economic sense. I might add it makes no economic sense either to cut $40 billion from food stamps for the poor while preserving $90 billion in crop insurance for the wealthy, including 26 farmers who made over a million dollars from the federal government, 26 wealthy farm owners who we are prevented from identifying. They won't tell us who they are. They are protected. It is just plain wrong. If the majority's leadership is serious about wanting to lower the number of Americans, increase the minimum wage. Taking food out of the mouth of the hungry is not the answer.